In this lesson, you'll learn how to install Joomla at SiteGround. I'm going to assume that your account is already set up and you know how to access their online control panel called cPanel. So let's start there. Step 1. In cPanel, scroll down to the Site Building Software panel and click the Joomla icon. Step 2. You're then taken to the Soft Aculus page, which is third-party software that allows you to install a variety of applications, including Joomla. Start by clicking the blue Install button at the top. Step 3. In the first drop-down box, choose the version of Joomla that you wish to install, which at the time this video was made was 3.1.4. Step 4. I recommend that you set choose protocol to http colon forward slash forward slash www dot. This means that once the site is installed, people will access the site by entering www dot followed by your domain name. Step 5. If you have more than one domain name set up in your account, you will need to select the appropriate one in the choose Domain drop down menu. The next option is labelled in directory and it's important to get this one right. If it is a fresh hosting account, I would imagine that you would want this to work as soon as someone entered the domain name. If that is the case, leave this box empty. However, if you already have some hosting files in your account, it would make sense to develop Joomla in a subdirectory and move it into your main directory when you go live. That's what I'm going to do in this example. I would like Joomla to be installed in a new directory called My Site. And so you specify that by entering the name of the new directory in the corresponding box. You don't need to enter a forward slash. Step 7. You'll see that an entry has already been added in the database name box and it's fine to leave this as it is. Step 8. Now, enter the name of your organisation in Site Name as well as a brief description of your organisation in the next box. Step 9. Just like the database name, the table prefix is filled in for you so leave this one alone. Step 10. You're probably aware that when installing Joomla you can install some sample data. As this course is about building a website from scratch we don't want to do that. So leave the import sample data option set to none. Step 11. As you'll discover throughout this course Joomla content is managed by the back end which we call administrator. As part of the installation, you'll need to specify a username and password to access Administrator. As you can see, some values have already been entered. But you'll probably want to make these a little easier to remember. You still need to choose something that's hard for others to guess, so go ahead and enter something that's useful to you. Note that usernames and passwords are case sensitive. Step 12. Then enter your name and email address in the next two boxes. And step 13. Click the install button and Joomla will be installed and set up for you. I'll pause the video to let this step complete. On the confirmation page, click the link at the top to see your newly installed Joomla website. 